fireplace was uncovered. It was uncovered? Yeah. So you think that's how the deck got in? Something, it has a rock on top of it that weighs about four pounds, but something pushed the, the wood over. Well, we were talking about there had some high wind storms oh. around here not so recently, and I'm like, that, that will move it. Yeah. For yeah. sure. It was uncovered, the duck got in, couldn't get back out. Yep. And Paul wanted to check to see if the Wi-Fi extender would work if he put it on top of the roof. Uh, right now we don't have any type of connectivity. Uh, Dan has a uh, landline, but that's about it. But we wanted to see if maybe I could work from the cabin because um, I have stuff to work this week, at least part-time. It looks like we're probably going to head over to the neighbors um, and uh, do that instead this week. Um, but Dan and his cousin Kurt went off to Port Allsworth. Port Allsworth? Yes. Port Allsworth um, to pick up mail. So. Well, and mail in, and building supplies because he's going to build oh, an addition right. onto his cabin. I are you. And are you going to try some fishing right now? Yeah. Since we're I not saw doing some anything. Salmon hitting oh. the top of the water earlier. I hear some funky Might things. Might get lucky. Usually do out here. So, it's a nice warm day, actually. I haven't been outside. It's my first time outside. It wasn't okay. warm until you came out here. <laughs> and it's been cozy in the cabin, but mostly I've just been trying to avoid being bitten by mosquitoes, because there's a lot of them here. But they're kind of docile. No, they're not. Well, they are for me. Yeah, they are to him. Catch some dinner, babe. Working on it. Not that way. You gotta let go. You gotta let go. Dan, I had to pull a dead field mouse out of the. A dead what? Mouse. Oh shit. That was after he stepped in it. That was that was after he stepped in it. I stepped in and thought it was a rock and I had to reach in and pull it out. Oh, doing that. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have to do it. <laughs> so I got I'm a like, dead. I pulled it out. I'm like, that's a really furry rock. It's <laughs> 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 so funny because the same exactly the same thing happened to Misty, but not here. Oh. Back at the house. <laughs> and. She, and it, it was in her shoe, so she put on her shoe, oh. her work shoe, in the morning, and she's like, it won't fit, and, and the, and the <laughs> oh fire was God. still alive, Aww. and she completely freaked out. <laughs> 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 This used to be dry. I remember walking through here five years ago. And you can still see there's like a whole bunch of plant life and stuff. But we used to walk through here from the cabin and fish on the river. But uh, we got a lot of high waters now. I think Paul may have caught something. Oh yeah. That was fucking fast, man. And it's gone. But um, definitely climate change is doing a number over here too. Yeah. Something it's like second time I put my pole in, but it's so tiny. It's yeah. so tidy. Gonna I'm probably gonna let it go. Yeah, you're gonna have to let it go. It's too small. It's too small. Thank you.
It's snack time. Yeah. It's uh, 10 o'clock at night, mm -hmm. right? Right. Mm -hmm. Dan's Natural. having the fish we got today. Natural yep. spice, grilling, <laughs> fried and bacon. <laughs> yes. Herb. Never had anything as good. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm having my, my favorite. Fruity pebbles. Mm -hmm. Every night. <laughs> Except for there no ice creams. Uh, mm. Yeah. We can make some Eskimo ice cream though. I'm Chris, not sure if Crisco? I want to know. Do uh -huh. I know? Crisco, sugar, and berries. Mmm, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, right now we're waiting for Dan to come pick us up because it's Monday, like quarter to eight, and we need to get online for some meetings and stuff like that. And actually, here he comes. So yep. we're uh, headed out to a neighbor's house to uh, work. So Internet. Our, there's there's our nothing. Cab. Here comes Dan on the boat. Okay. He parked it around the corner because it does get a little bit wavy here, and he was concerned if he wasn't pulling it out completely out of the water. So he went to kind of like the river area that we were at fishing the other day, um, since it's a little bit more of a protective cove. But. This is going to be a nasty little cold, windy, rainy ride. Yes? Yes. 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 The things we have to do for work. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Well, cheers. 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 Alaska cheers. Yeah, Alaska cheers. And thank you all for, you know, for thank coming you. out. And yeah, no, thank you. Yep. Spending Making this. This is awesome. White cherry pie. Yep. White cherry pie and all the great food. Uh, Nashville spice, Nashville spice I chicken know. today. Man, mm. that's good. That's like sweet, mm. and then the alcohol kicks in, and I'm like, not sweet anymore. Hey, the <laughs> ceviche, the ceviche was oh, wow. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll have more. That was mm. phenomenal. Mm. Mm. The mango is really good in this too. So did you guys pour it over the dessert? Or? I put a little bit over it already, but feel free to just I'll drink it. Tell you, we eat better here than we do at home because we have time to cook. Mm -hmm. Look at the people who live here. Yeah. They're in the 70s and 80s and they look better than us. I know. I know. Less stress, a lot of work, so a lot of time to spend with the kids. Well, they probably also have just basically like a lot of like fish and stuff too, like the salmon. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. That's why Hal gave us fish because he's so tired of eating. Yeah, you time. have that balance of <laughs> a lot of fish and, and um, good fats and then like the high alcohol to pickle it. It's good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Don't pickle you, not you. Yeah. <laughs> Bring that stress even lower. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Man. Sweet, sweetest stuff. It is. Yeah. It definitely tastes like I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what I'm calling it. Jamaican, baby. So, I was just going to say, we usually don't have breakfast like these normally, but um, like Monday we had crepes with bananas and eggs and bacon and then yesterday we just had eggs and bacon because we went, Paul and I went to work. Um, and then today we are having onion with potatoes and spam chorizo. Spam chorizo. Um, omelets. I think that's it, right? Um, cheese, of course. And cheese, because you need cheese in your omelet. I think it would be like three or four asparagus, so I may have to run some green. Oh, there. that's right, we do have some asparagus. Eesh.
right, Dan, explain what we're doing here. All right, so we put out a trot line overnight and uh, we'll put some nice pieces of chicken down. We're gonna see if we can catch something interesting because uh, the uh, fish finder found something in uh, 112, just a big school of fish. Al says that they're not salmon. So we're gonna try to catch it and see what they are. So they could be vervet or possibly she-fish, whitefish. Um, but we're gonna find out. You know, it's gonna be interesting here. All right. One is the burbot. Uh, this the one. one? Okay. You see how the burbot. Oh, the eyes on the top. Yeah, the yeah. eyes on the top and the front half. The front end looks like a catfish. Yeah, it does. And on the back end looks like an eel. Huh. And what they call these is they call these poor man's lobsters. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But the lake trout's a nice sized trout. It is a nice sized trout. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Dan. Woo. All right, guys. Yeah. Normally, uh, yeah. normally you go up there. A little hole right there, right? Yeah. We go from here and just straight back. Give me that other glove and I'll hold it. There you go, nice sharp, so that works. Yeah. And watch out, it's really sharp. Finally. Oh, man, wow. we couldn't cut through the fish yesterday. Oh man, that's nice. Is this a trout? Yeah, uh, yeah. Trout. Burbit is being boiled and now other stuff. Like, oh, yeah, burbit. Burbit. Been boiled. Oh, it has? Yeah, it's been boiled and put in saran wrap with a little mm. bit of butter on there. Alright. Soaks in that butter. Oh, it's not a lot. Is that it? No, oh, it's not a lot. It's not. Yeah, it's not a lot. Oh, wow. It's going to be an afternoon of fishing today. Okay. What? Afternoon of fishing. Yep. So what are we having? We're having, ooh, hot, hot, hot. Uh, these are fry bread tacos. for tonight's Indian fry bread. Indian fry bread tacos. With ground beef that expired yesterday. But we're in Alaska stuck, so. You, you eat what you, you have. Just, you just gotta go for it. Cook it well. that is like a Christmas tree practically. Yeah, nice. Alright, that one's done. Let's get the other one out. She's okay. Yeah. Better get the other one out. I bet you it's burned by now. Oh, look at that. Like a pizza. Mm -hmm. Except it's a hot taco. Oh, fennel. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh. What, what is it? It's called... <laughs> Should I be scared? That's Renovin. And Paul loves it. Look at his face. He loves it. <laughs> loves it. What time is it? It's uh, 9.48. 9.48. Sun, sun is has not gone down at all. Yes. Oh, that's 
restaurant. Yep. <laughs> See? It burns. Does it burn? <laughs> yeah, and not in a good way. <laughs> Can you explain what a good way is? It, uh, alcohol way. It's like some weird astringent. I mean, <laughs> I could, I could be, this could be ice purple alcohol. I don't know. With a weird flavor. <laughs> Stay going. It's like 11.35 at night. Um, see the mosquitoes are out in full force. They are. Go mosquitoes! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to go sp spray myself some more. I'm watching your face because it's where they're going to get you. <laughs> 